Good morning, boys and girls. This is Letter Book J, and we're going to do page 10 through 13 today. The first two pages, we're just going to read a story. Let's get ready. Page 10. The Big Job. Doll, Ted, Ed, and Tig visit the picnic spot. Okay, look, you can see your quotation marks again here. The picnic spot is a mess, said Doll. It is a big job, but let's pick it up, said Ted. I can get the scraps on the grass, said Doll. I will dump the glass in the big can, said Ed. Let's look at page 11. The pond smells, said Tig. Tin cans rust in it. The ducks cannot swim. Let's pick up the mess and help the ducks, said Ted. I think the ducks are going to be thankful for that. Tig and Ted drag the junk from the mud. Quack, said the ducks. The big job ends. The picnic spot is just fantastic. All right, I hope you saw the quotation marks where people were speaking and the focus word said so we're going to turn the page, and these two pages go together, but it's going to be hard for me to show both pages. So you have your picture, and then on page 13, you have some sentences. Maybe I can. I'll, I'll fold it like this. All right. If you notice, some of the words are in a color. You're going to look at that color and decide which crayon you're going to get. So the first one, we need a green crayon. Green. And we're going to read this sentence. The picnic is in a basket. Basket is in uh, the green color. So we're going to get our green crayon and find the picnic that is in the basket. Look at your picture. Did you find it right here? I want you to circle that picnic basket with your green crayon. Green. Because we're matching the green to the green word. All right. Ed will dump the glass. We saw him doing that in the story. I'm going to move this over just a little bit. My word glass is yellow, so you need to find a yellow crayon. And let's find Ed dumping the glass. Ed, remember, is the elephant. Ed and elephant start the same. Here he has a glass bottle in his trunk and a glass jar in his hand. So we're going to circle Ed in yellow. You can kind of see it a little bit. All right, let's look at the third sentence. Ted will get the tin can. That word is blue. So look for Ted and look for the tin can. And you need a blue crayon. Did you find Ted? And here's the tin can. So we want to circle Ted in the tin can in blue. We're matching the picture to the meaning of the sentence. This is orange, so you're going to need an orange crayon. I'm using a Sharpie so you can see it a little bit better, maybe. The junk 
is in the big can. The junk is in the big can. All right, look at your picture. You've got to really study for this one. Look for the big can. Or you find, look under the trees if you're having trouble finding it. I see junk in a big can right here. So we're going to circle that junk in the big can with our orange crayon. All right. I think this next color is red. Ted dumps scraps in the basket. Ted dumps scraps in the basket. So he's going to have two colors around him. So you need your red, and here he's dumping the scraps. So you may circle like this in red. I don't, oh, I do have a red. So we'll circle Ted and the scraps like this, matching that red color. And I think that last color is brown. Brown, I think. Doll fills the glass. Doll fills the glass. There she is with the lemonade. Very good. So we're going to circle doll with the brown crayon. Boys and girls, they are being very good citizens because they're cleaning up and, and taking everybody else's trash and putting it in the trash can to make nature a, a nicer place to be. I know each one of you is a good citizen, too. All right, I hope that you enjoyed our lesson today, and I will see you tomorrow. All right, bye-bye.